Let's learn how to translate English to Japanese in this lesson. Before we begin, I want you to keep these two points in mind. Point number one. Time expressions do not need a particle ni all the time. The particle ni is a time marker in this case. But when do we use it and when do we not? You can remember it this way. If the time expression needs a preposition in English sentences, then you need a particle ni in Japanese. For instance, think about these time expressions. Friday, 5 o'clock, March, and 2017. When you do or did something on this time, Would you add a preposition to them? The answer is yes, right? You'd say you do or did something on Friday at 5 o'clock in March and in 2017. Like this, if the time expression requires a preposition in English, then it needs the particle ni in Japanese. On the other hand, these time expressions do not need a preposition, right? Tomorrow, next week, and every day. When you do something every day, you wouldn't say on every day or at every day in English. You would simply say I exercise every day, for instance. Like this, If the time expression does not require a preposition in English, then you don't mark it with the particle ni in Japanese either. Please keep in mind that this is not a 100% complete rule. There are some exceptions to this rule, but I would say this tip will help you to figure out if you need a time marker in Japanese or not 99% of the time. Point number two. The word I, 私は often gets dropped in Japanese, especially when we are speaking the language. We do not repeat saying I, I, I in every sentence. In fact, not using 私は makes the sentences flow better and sound natural as Japanese. So keep in mind not to overuse the word 私は especially when you are speaking Japanese. Okay, here's the sentence that we are going to work on together today. My boyfriend plays golf on weekends. The first thing that you need to do is to figure out how many units in the sentence that you need to convert into Japanese. In this particular sentence, there are four units. Let's put them into Japanese one by one. Boyfriend, 彼氏,彼氏 Play sports, we say do sports in Japanese, so you have to say do golf in this case. Do in Japanese is します,します Golf ゴルフ、ゴルフ。ウィーケンド、週末、週末。And then, step one, you have to put the verb do at the end of the sentence. And step two, let's mark each unit with the right particle. 彼氏は、which is the subject of this sentence, which I cannot erase this time. And then, go f ゴルフ is the direct object that you are going to play, so let's mark it with the particle を。週末 doesn't need a time marker に。and しますす。at the end of the sentence. Very good. This is good enough. This already means my boyfriend plays golf on weekends. 彼氏はゴルフを週末します。But of course, if you want to follow the most common word order, 
You can put ゴルフ right before しますエネゴレクです。彼氏は週末ゴルフをします。Okay, let me quickly talk about this particular time expression, weekend, 週末。When it comes to 週末、the time marker に is actually optional. Some people use it, other people don't. So it is completely up to you. You can either say 週末に or just 週末 Another thing that I want to point out is to add something like this before 彼氏。私の meaning my in Japanese. And then you say 私の彼氏は。This is okay to do, but it's not necessary. Because when you say 彼氏は、It automatically means the speaker's boyfriend. So unless you really want to say my boyfriend in your speech, you don't need it. This is good enough. 彼氏は週末ゴルフをします。Meaning, my boyfriend plays golf on weekends. Or, of course, you can say like this too. 彼氏は週末にゴルフをします。Okay, here's another sentence. My mother makes a feast on Christmas. First, we are going to put each unit into Japanese. My mother. Haha. The verb make. Tsukurimasu. Feast. Gochiso. And Christmas. Christmas. We need to put make, 作りますあって end of the sentence, and then mark each unit with the right particle. 母はごちそうをクリスマスに作ります。母はごちそうをクリスマスに作ります。Very good. This is already done and completely grammatical. And if you want to put them in the most common order, it's going to be like this. 母はクリスマスにごちそうを作ります。母はクリスマスにごちそうを作ります。Today's lesson was one segment from my online mini course. If you want to learn the basics of Japanese verbs and sentences, you are welcome to join. It's a free course. You can sign up at smilenihongo.com slash ec3. Inside the mini course, you can also download these handouts, a vocabulary list, verb list, and then sentence pattern charts that help you construct your own sentences in Japanese. I'll leave all the information in the description area. では、コースの中でお会いしましょう。